putting all the nuns to shame her Don't say my name in vain, sir I told you once I'll have you living on a prayer like I know he was Oh my God, if this eyes inside me I'll be putting all these nuns to shame her Don't say my name in vain, sir I told you once I'll have you living on a prayer like I know he was Alright, so right now, for the people who can't see Yeah No, we'll take a picture, here you go Yeah, alright So, right now On the couch is All my sketchbooks From Late seventh grade to most recent, uh, 2023, August. And uh, basically, it details and it documents um, my doodles from English class uh, into math class into pretty much all subjects when I was bored mm -hmm. of school and listening to the teacher. I would just draw. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll have more pictures to really show you, but. Uh, there was a, it was a long process. I think that's the biggest thing that is there. It was a long process. Could you find like, could you find one that you remember drawing in class? I think I actually I drew on paper that the teacher gave me. Yeah, were you drawing? <clears throat> because there's like, well, what I see is like characters and stuff. Were you drawing because you're like brainstorming during class, or you're what is it? I was just drawing things that I thought were funny. <laughs> oh Jesus, I don't know about that. Well. Yeah, I don't know if you can put that on the internet. Well, I guess you could. It's the fucking internet, but... Yeah, but look, this is all teacher's paper. Yeah. Because I, I didn't have a notebook at, in eighth... In a, this is ninth grade. Yeah. I didn't have a notebook. And I all would right, just cool. take the teacher's paper and draw on that. Until I got a notebook. Okay. Dude, now, I, I think I remember either you buying a sketchbook or us buying it. Like, what? what was your first... Ske did you write like line paper? Did you have actual sketchbook? What is it? My first sketchbook was, uh, in seventh grade we had we did word searches, uh -huh. so I'd always finish the word searches and then draw on the back. That was my first paper. Then it became notebooks that the teachers would give us in class yeah. when they used to actually supply us with materials. And then ninth grade was when I really got my real sketchbook. She it was an in math class, uh, the same one where, I you, you remember Mystery Man. How I had, uh, he, I was beefing with him, but we, ne we never knew each other. Oh, yeah, yeah. That math class that I had with his girlfriend. Yeah. That math class, she gave us a notebook, which I began writing raps in and drawing in, and not doing math in. Yeah. Anything but math, I would do in that notebook. So, yeah, your middle school math was a pain in the ass. Yeah. And then, um, it became, I think you guys realized I like to draw, and so I was given sketchbooks. Grandma definitely got me a sketchbook. I think this is actually the one that she got me right here. Yeah. Because I brought it to South Carolina with us. So. Yeah, I remember, I know you were like, we would just be at a restaurant and you would draw on the napkins or the, co you know, the coloring books or mm -hmm. coloring papers that they give the kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of these things. In my early times, it was a lot of donuts. A whole lot of donuts. I would draw a lot of donuts. Yeah. Right, so that's what I'm saying. Like, I remember your food guys. I don't know if you have that linked up here, but mm -hmm. maybe that'll be another episode. But I remember you drawing the food guys was good, the candy guys, donuts. Yeah. And it was just nonstop. Yeah, and then um, 2020, Christmas time came uh -huh. around because that was I was in ninth grade at that time. Um, I asked for an iPad to draw on an iPad. Yeah. And then that's when I started to really get better and do colors and stuff like that. Yeah, and that made it more efficient, right? That made it more, like, yeah. You could because just... I could I could take pictures of what I already drew, and then put color and make it more interesting. Yeah. So, the iPad was a very big help. All right. So then these papers. So this is only seventh and eighth grade of seventh, like eighth, paper. Ninth. Seventh, seventh eighth, ninth. Yeah. Christmas of ninth, you get this technology. And you're just... But you didn't only just go to iPad. You didn't, like, switch over. You you still, to this day, sketch. Yeah, because I believe... I Like, as much as the iPad is cool, I, I think it's good to know how to do it with a real pen and paper. Mm -hmm. And I it's better for me to do that. And then I transport it onto the iPad. Yeah. We're gonna, definitely going to do a video of that. Like, yeah. the, the, the clowns are, like, really cool how you do a transparent sketchbook mm -hmm. to digital... To shading, to like now it's like a anime movie kind of look. Yeah. From just sketches. But yeah, so... Uh, Alright, so can... We'll put some of these visuals up because I think it's important for them to see where it started. Mm. 
and then uh, from there let's they'll get visuals and then now let's move to the iPad and you can voice over some like hey this was this this was that and I think these are kind of in order well January 20 so because right now I got the iPad at Christmas so I started drawing in January 20 uh -huh. 20 so what's the first one if you can remember this is probably one of the first okay so I see the donuts again yeah and then the gingerbread men were something you were mm -hmm. uh, I think it's like a couple months how many like they were just gingerbread everywhere you yes. even got a fucking sweater on I it. even have the tree right there with the gingerbread still yeah so that'll be a good one but what's so <clears throat> the star is two your, your thing mm -hmm. so we got star donuts gingerbread why when how come I just like that kind of stuff. It's very squishy, and it's very fun, and it was cool to draw. Uh huh. Um, and that's that's where I was. I wasn't thinking of anything like super crazy or anything. I was just like, oh, I like gingerbread man. I like Christmas time. Mm -hmm. I like stars and I like these colors. There's a yellow and pink, you know. And it goes back to my thing with dough because while I was in that young age, uh. -huh. uh I would play a lot of video games, and my name would always be Doe. My For name, real? Yeah, my name would always be Doe, and if there was a gingerbread skin possible, oh, I would God, be gingerbread yeah, man. Oh, yeah, your Fortnite guy was gingerbread man. Yeah, and when they brought it back into the shop, because it used to be a rare skin, but they brought it back into the shop. Yeah. Once they brought the gingerbread man skin into the shop, I quit. I stopped playing Fortnite, because I was so upset. I love gingerbread, and I love Doe. That's, and that's what you why. get, Fortnite. You, you shouldn't have brought it back in the shop, because this guy was top-notch. I couldn't play that game either. <laughs> but you had the gingerbread before Fortnite. Yeah, yeah, for Christmas time. Yeah. But that's I wasn't able to really like it as much as I could have, you know? Okay. Um, all right, so gingerbread was that Christmas. What's the next one? What do you call that guy? Yeah. Uh, kind of, he's like a cake. Yeah. He's like a cake, yeah. Okay, so again, the sweater. food, the mm -hmm. food stuff. Mm -hmm. Dough, because you need dough to make cake, I think, or something like that. Batter. Yeah, yeah. I just drew that guy, and then um, I brought him to Three Sect on one of our meetings, and we all liked him so much. We oh, him. your crew, okay. Yeah. yeah. He was originally a, a cover for a song, I think for Topics, but then I, uh, M. Poema told me to change the cover for Topics to the, co the cover that it is today. That's a good one. Yeah. Am I remembering when it's like two people yeah, on, on the, the globe moon, or something? On the moon. On and the it's moon. the light side and the dark side. All right, you're going to have to put that one in there yeah, because yeah. that's a good... Yeah. Most of your cover art you drew for your songs mm -hmm. or all of them. Mm -hmm. That We could do that in another episode of like just going over all the cover art. All right, so this guy's kind of like... Limited, he's just a cake guy, he's got a cloud shirt. Yeah, it took me a long time to draw him because that was one of the first times I ever drew something like that on the sketch, on the iPad. Right, right, right. That took me like two hours to draw. But again, this is your early day drawing, like you're just starting out. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, and then... around that same time, there's like a bunch that I did around the same time, so you could pick any one. Any one from here? Mm-hmm. Just not... What the heck are the other one or the window pane? But all the other ones are around the same time. I remember this fire guy. Um, I forgot why you did it, and uh, I'm always a fan of flames because I used to draw them on like the mm -hmm. try on the cars and stuff. But this is like a 3D effect kind of thing. Were you going for that? Was it just like who's it? Why, when, and where? What's what that, is it? This one is uh for the song Heat. I think it's called Heat. It's like boom, 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 boom. Sounds familiar. I radiate intense energy, armor tightening, impenetrable defense. You don't want me as your enemy. That one. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I just that's that's how the song looked to me in my head. That's how it looked to me. So that's why I drew it. I mean, I think you're gonna have to put that song. Yeah. Over this image. Should we play a clip? If you can do that. Yeah, do I... Is it on SoundCloud? Yeah, or is you, it, it, you can go on SoundCloud. All right, let's play the clip because then it would be easier for them to see it. 
You were close. It's called Hot. Yeah, that's not normal. I'm ready to get into energy. I'm going to tell you an impenetrable defense. You don't want me as your enemy. Time to blow this heavenly, heavily on him. Ready to get in there. Yeah. I can see that. That's what I imagine. That's why I, I drew that. Yeah. If you just put, if you had like a word hot behind it somewhere, so it kind of like faded, mm -hmm. it'd be good too. Um, I want to do this dragon one because I know where it's from and yeah. why you did it. But the, uh, yeah, it gives me like Dragon Ball Z vibes, but like at cool, it's cool because I like the depth and the perception of it. Yeah, the dragon one has more more of a story than these other ones. Um, it basically for my high school. They had a drawing a mascot competition in late February, early March, right before the lockdowns in 2020. And they were like, so we need one of our students to draw our mascot. So we're hosting a competition. And I just got this iPad and I said, I could totally do that. So let me do it. And I drew this mascot up. It's a, or the mascot is a dragon. And uh, it was a global themed school. So I drew it up. And I thought it was good, and I submitted it, and it probably would have won, but then lockdown came. Oh, for real? Yeah, so they canceled everything, and it never resumed. Oh and then the art God. teacher just ended up making the logo. That's <laughs> like nonsense, bro. But it's there, so I drew it, and I got the date and time when I drew it. So. Yeah. I like the, um, the space mm -hmm. top of the head. I'm just going to go in order of the gallery, and this guy gives me the, um, remember that cat that fucking flew through the world with the rainbow? But this is like some cloud hollow, but curvy looking, because you got the pink again. Mm -hmm. Where's he come from? He was a drawing that I made uh, from my sketchbooks in the summer of the transition between 8th to ninth grade. Mm -hmm. um, and when I got the iPad, I said, I want to put him i want to give him color and i want to put him on the on the screen yeah so that's that's where he comes from but that style that you see right there is a style that i used to do a lot i used to just draw a circle with eyes and a smile and then rainbow trail coming behind him uh -huh. i don't know why i would do that but it just it was it, it was like be a good sticker bro yeah it was satisfying to me because it has almost it has six out of seven main colors it's just missing purple and i think that's what i liked about it I just, it was just really simple yeah uh, I'm gonna go to the dough rot only because right in the gallery that I'm looking at is like he's right under the gingerbread mm. <clears throat> and it kind of resembles the gingerbread kind of morphed into one yeah. there's a donuts back again this was in 8th grade I remember making this uh -huh. with my uh, with my friends in English class it was crazy our English teacher was out for the entire year so we had a substitute he was the most relaxed substitute ever so we had an hour and a half to just chill out yeah and we would just draw and talk and do whatever and i was just drawing a lot of guys i, I we were talking about sloths so i i drew <laughs> i drew my best sloth that i could but then i put a donut head on top of him mm -hmm. and i said this is it this is dora right here and then that's and that was in late eighth grade and that's why i formed the name dora and that's the character dora um that, that's hilarious because most of your beginning raps are like really fast yeah you were like oh and i was like I'm like, bro, <laughs> you can slow down, and I like where you're headed now, but... Yeah. I'm sorry, so this guy was a sloth. I always wondered. I thought he was, like, some sort of bear. It's maybe even, like, a Bigfoot or a Yeti. I don't know. I just like the fur. Yeah. I just like soft and comforting things in my art. That's why I drew him like that. Well, then, okay, but what about this? The, the evil twins. I like the halos. Halos look legit. Mm. Um, obviously, the Evil Twins is you, and I'm not sure his name, but it's we went Kane over... Kane 104. We went over Barracuda. He's yeah. on some other tracks. Kane 104, Caesar. He goes by <clears throat> a bunch of names. Are but, you the um, red or the bluish, kind of purplish? What's doesn't matter? Yeah, it doesn't matter too much. The This drawing is actually a drawing from my sketchbook. I drew that with pen, and then I put it onto the iPad. Yeah. And then I... Just posted that as the art. I just mirrored it, so I only drew it once. 
a lot of people says it looks like Finn from Adventure Time, but I honestly did not mean for it to look like that. But it it came out. Yeah, like that's that. but that's what happens with art. It's 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 somewhere in your mind, and it comes out in a different, slightly way. Yeah. Is that why? So I'm looking at it, and the symmetric, the symmetry. You know what I mean? Is my eye wants that halo on this side of the purple guy. Yeah. Is that why it's because you just you mirrored it and you were like boom? Yeah. Um, <laughs> just like, I'm really yeah. <laughs> well, actually, I don't even. I think I might have put the halos. Let me see the picture a little clearer. I, well, they they look slightly different yeah. too. So, so I might have just done that. Yeah. And maybe it just messes with people and maybe it, it starts it, conversation. It it just it bothers the fuck out. It's not the same. You know. You should what I mean? start a movement over it. Yeah. Change the halo. We should have a petition. All right. So if you want the halo on the right side, put a right arrow. If you want it on the left. Um. I'm going to go with this next onion guy before we get to the other ones. Um, I remember you drawing... There's a couple landscapes I think we can add, too. Mm-hmm. But this guy looks kind of like an onion. He's sitting on a tree. And then... What are these things behind him? So this is my first um, experimentation uh-huh. with, I guess, a like a wider thing. Because for a while I was just drawing individual characters, no backgrounds, no anything. Yeah. So I wanted to get a little bit more detail. So that's why you see grass, stones, trees, uh-huh. um, these big guys behind him. And again, you see the same colors that were in the cloud. It's like these, these bright. Oh, well, there's a purple in there. Yeah, this uh, time a purple. Uh-huh. There's a but there's green on the floor. I it was just like the most basic colors. The seven main colors of the rainbow uh-huh. is the colors that I would mostly use, and I just like them a lot. So. I just drew these these like super fat lard things with faces. Yeah. And I, I think the faces were the highlight for me, to be honest. Yeah. And that's why that pink face became... You, you might oh, rec- shut up, bro. You might that's recognize him? the pink face. Oh, whatever, man. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we'll get into the pink face another time. Yeah. Um, but I think that... That idea carried over to all your food and fruit people because every like when you draw the carrot, that's fine, but you were drawing these carrots doing crazy shit and it mm-hmm. just made the. So we'll have to get into those too because now I didn't know you had all these Easter eggs linking all the things together. No. But I see that it grows and grows and grows. All right, so well, then on the food, then I'm just going to hit the donut one. Um, Because I think this is just great wallpaper. Yeah. Um, That one I made originally in uh, January uh after I got the iPad. Uh, Because because I was just so infatuated with donuts. Yeah, but you didn't draw all these donuts, did you? No. Okay. I drew drew like seven of them. Yeah, and then you're like, all right, we're going to copy and paste and stuff. Yeah, because I was like, I don't want to fill the whole thing. Yeah. And this was the original art for LL. But did it make sense to put that for LL? So then I drew the rose. Right. And then... Yeah, that's how. I just yeah I don't know why because I I mean I like donuts but it, that one just is good. Yeah. Um, and then this is the LL. This one fit perfectly. Yeah. Perfect for the song. Perfect for the Valentine's Day when it released. Everything. Yeah. It's just the rose. That's it. And I even had I even had some girls thinking that I wrote the song for them. With you this cover did. Art. With this you, cover art. you see what I'm saying? You did. Mm-hmm. You don't don't ruin their dream now, because then they're not gonna fucking listen to it. You know what I mean? Like if you tell them that on the internet, they don't care anymore. Shit, shit! Cut the mic! Cut the mic! Cut the mic! What the heck, bro? Well, it. What the heck? Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna go to what the heck, and then I'm gonna go to um. To I'm gonna go to the next, the last one, I think. Can I find what the heck on um? If you go on TikTok, you find it as a sound. That's the only place that's there. Oh, really? Yeah, because it was for free. So, uh, the story behind this this drawing is... Yeah. Basically, I made this beat, and I made this... And I put my voice behind it. Just, like, as a joke. And then, what? You, you saw it. You heard it, and you were like, Oh, you got to put this online on TikTok. This is, this is a TikTok beat. So, just, like, the way it sounded... Yeah. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. The way it sounded, and... What was happening at the time on the Tic Tac was, uh, let's see if it pops up. It just, yeah, it's the first one, Dora. Mm-hmm. Um, it just sounded like somebody would use it. And when when that 
platform came out, I noticed that there was a lot of people trying to be in front of the camera, but there was also sounds that you could make that I, I think was more of an untapped market at the time where I'm like, yo, if you just put this sound out, people are going to know and hear it and be like, oh shit. Mm -hmm. So this is what the heck. Hey, what the heck is that? What the heck? Yeah. Just... Did and you added it? Huh? You added what the heck, right? Yeah, yeah, that's my voice. What the, what the heck? What the heck? Yeah. What the what the what the what the heck? Yeah. So, so that was that song, and this is the art that went along with it. There's a there's a gif, there's an animation I made on the iPad uh -huh. where their mouths are moving to what the heck. With these two guys? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. But that's where it came from. What the heck? It was the first song I ever released, technically, on, on right. a platform other than SoundCloud. Right, right. And it's the only song that's released under Do Ra. Limited edition. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, but okay. it's only on TikTok because TuneCore gave it for free. So I still have it up there for free. I don't ever have to pay for it. So I'm never going to take it down on TuneCore. Oh, gotcha. On okay. On TikTok. Okay. And there's like, there's like a, a lot of people that made videos with it, too. There's like 2,000 people that made videos with it. Yeah, I've seen... So... Uh, there's reason why like people need to say what the heck yeah. and to put like a beat behind it yeah that means they each searched it up because they went from from no place to 2000 yeah in some years so you, what do you i just typed in what the heck on tiktok and it popped up first mm -hmm. one mm -hmm. and last but not least my favorite one um i'm not sure if this is the view that you see like i don't know this perspective I, c I can't think of a place that we've ever been that looks like this. Mm. But this is for window pane. Um, I think we've heard that on another clip somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, This uh, I drew this in ninth grade on paper. Uh -huh. this is, I was trying to draw landscapes because I don't draw landscapes. I draw people mostly. Right. And I drew this on paper. I, that, I have this sketch somewhere. It's on a loose piece of paper. It's probably If you can find place. it, take a picture of it and put it in this... Yeah. And I, I took that sketch from the paper, and I put it on the iPad, and I traced over. I put all these colors. It took me a long time to do this because it was such a different thing. Mm -hmm. And then I put this for window pane because it fit the vibe perfectly. Yeah. It fit that, that the, the guitar. Well, I, so I remember the, like the sun setting looks like that in South Carolina, right? Mm -hmm. But the trees really don't match the South mm -hmm. Carolina vibe. Mm-hmm. And then the fence is like somewhere else, but then the layered hills is like. Mm -hmm. It's just different. I don't yeah, know. it's like where you've traveled and where you've been in like one picture. Mm -hmm. But it gives you the sense of like, I'm looking out the window. It makes you feel so cozy. That's how I feel when I look at this picture. It makes you feel super cozy. You think so? Oh, yeah. Everything is so like uh, Play Doh to me. Interesting. 